I was diagnosed with stage three melanoma when I was 23 years old. Throughout the whole journey of cancer, I've had four surgeries, 17 lymph nodes removed, and radiation therapy. I always have wanted to be a mom, but when my cancer came back for the second time six years ago, I didn't think having children would be possible. We based our decision to have children on the advancements of immunotherapy, and if my cancer were to come back, there was good treatment options out there for me. Immunotherapy research has been one of the major research programs in cancer at North Cotton Cancer Center. The intricacies of the immune system and, and the ways that it could be manipulated is just beginning to be tapped. We knew clearly patient who developed vitiligo, which is white spot on skin, sometimes hair. They tend to do better with immunotherapy. So we followed a group of patients out for almost a decade and found that they had these T cells that were able to kill the tumor and go into skin and take up residence there and live for many years. Where chemo is the nuclear bomb just going off in your body and killing all cells. The immunotherapy harnesses your own immune system to attack the tumor cells within your body. This concept of immune checkpoint inhibitor uh, actually awarded Nobel Prize in 2018. When I started work in melanoma, there was really nothing for melanoma patients. Now, melanoma patients are surviving. Three years ago, we welcomed my daughter, Shay, into the world, and we just had a new baby girl, Casey, that was born in October. My family will forever be grateful for the researchers and the patients that have taken part in these clinical trials.